What's up? It's your boy Centron coming back at you with another reaction video, and this time we're looking at the famous, the Pokemon rarish, Dave Chappelle. What do you call it? So, um, I did react to one of his videos. It got taken down, you know. But you know, you have you had a chance to catch that. You already know what it is. Anyways, Unforgiven Instagram special. Let's get into it kids 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 don't join a gang or a click i pulled him aside and i said hey man i don't mind you borrowing my jokes but you gotta give them back <laughs> let me buy that joke from you for 50 dollars really i can just take it pause um just gonna take a quick break here you know um assess things but yeah, like comment below, you know, where you've been, you know, scarred, you know, somewhere someone's taken something from you, whether material or otherwise, you know, could have been intellectual property, could have been something, you know, precious to you, that, um, you know, something that, you know, like, didn't, I don't know, not physical. Um, but, you know, we've all had those moments in our life that scarred us, um, traumatized us events that you know we can't take back and, and someone you know stole something precious from us um yeah man the industry is talking about like you know the, the guy you know using intimidation standing over him in the light I, I know we all deal with that on some level if not i mean hopefully not daily but week you know weekly monthly you know but sometimes throughout the year you know deal with people that try to take advantage of you that seek to do you mental harm, you know, by getting over on you and expecting you to just, eh, you know, get past it, move past it. That's a sick world we live in, man. And everybody's looking, I mean, like, you know, so I always have to be on the lookout, you know. Everybody's looking for the come up. Everybody's looking to get over on you. Everybody's looking to not get over on you. Everybody's looking to get something from you. Uh, not to be paranoid, but to just keep that that one eye open you know what i'm saying i'll still sit like this sleep like this because i mean this you know you know the joker says you get it something never do for free people not looking to come to you out of the generosity of the heart check them and then check them all right let's get back to the video kept watching that bent car go around the table make sure i kept my eyes on that bent car don't ever come between a man and his meal Taking a man's livelihood away from him is akin to killing him. Damn. Pause. Another intermission. Um, yeah. I mean, he said never come between a man and his paper. A man trying to eat is a hungry animal. And he will devour you. <laughs> or maul you <laughs> when you get in his way. Like you Darth Maul. Um... But yeah, that same that I flipped that on on a, uh, on its head. By the same token, never let a man or a woman come in between you and your meal. Like you got too many people around you that are you know hangers on, um, people that are going somewhere, or if you're trying to go somewhere, like you have to map that out beforehand. Like you know you don't people you know celebrities Dave he didn't just wake up one day famous rich um, and enabled by his resources. He worked to get there, but he had to, you know, to plot out a path, you know, curb those that aren't, aren't going to be beneficial to, you know, him getting to where he wanted to be, need, need to be, to uh, take care of his family. Like a 20, 28 years old, you know, broke with a wife that's expected. You know, you got to, that puts your priorities in order. And, you know, how do you get there? You know, you got to, I mean, it can be the smallest of things or, or, you know, like medium priorities, but cutting out the things in your life that aren't absolutely necessary to, for you to get to where you need to be. You know, whether that be video games, you know, you're cutting out an hour here, that's an hour you can put, to, you know, towards productivity on, you know, your thing, you know, whatever that may be, your skill, your craft, because I believe everybody in this world, we have something that you can do at least at above average to exceptional, to, you know, might mean to, a, if you're blessed to an exceptionally well degree. What that is, you have to figure out and how to finagle it into, you know, financial slash um, success you know, in your life. There may not be strictly financial in your life, but anyways, you know, all that said, you know, all that 
I say all that to say that you know, whatever you can do, you're gifted at. You know, your natural talents, you're blessed with some. Figure out what they are. How to, find out how to monetize them, make them work for you, and then go out and get it done. Anyways. HBO Max is streaming it too. I pitched that show to HBO. What do we need you for? That's what they told me. Is they kicked me out of the office. What do we need you for? They agreed. They stole that from me. They just took it. This fucking industry is a monster. You're not supposed to do this in my business. Pulse. Oh, man. Um, yeah. And this is the dirty side of, you know, like, the industry. But not, I mean, doesn't just extend to the big man. And, but he's, he's an in, independent, you know, uh, individual. Uh, highly paid. Highly respected and with celebrity status. But still not invulnerable to the ails of the industry. And... I mean, you know, when we sign a contract, uh, I mean, I've had companies try to get over on me, um, saying I have to do things and, you know, trying to abuse my time, uh, trying to abuse um, on me in the process. But I'll give you one, for example, like, you know, saying that I can't, you know, do something, making up rules out of thin air and then, you know, uh, you know, taking away should be enabled in well, not enabled, enabled rights but you know work work workers rights that are in the contract but you know this you know for certain days and whatnot saying that you have to do this you know or have to do that have to be at this place you know because i'm the big man i'm the big fish i'm give. i'm you know i'm giving you your meal so you you know you can't complain you can't you know get out of this you, you know you have to do this you're on the, you're on the hook for this and that, ladies and gentlemen, is quite simply abuse. And, you know, one thing I'll, I'll say to you before we get back to the video, we look at uh, prostitutes and whores, uh, whatever your gender you may be, as, uh, you know, really, you know, prostituting themselves for money, you know, pimping themselves out for money. But we do the same thing with these companies when you sign an effing contract that you're obligated to be at, you know, you know, regardless of, you know, you being, you know, going through this, that, and the third, they don't give a crap about you. You are obligated to be there and you're signing your soul over and you backing that ass up for, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever K. When you know you wake, when you know in your heart of hearts, you wake up in the morning, you do not want to go there. You do not. If, if you had a choice, what would you choose? Exactly. You, we're, you're the same you're doing the same thing so how dare we look you know look down on people that are you know using themselves for, uh, like they're bartering themselves for monetary gain when you're just selling your services you know, exchanging them trading them for monetary gain same difference anyways let's get back to the video Quick. i am publicly flogging a network this is their first nigga lesson and i'm honored to give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> they pay me for this show. I'm coming to my real boss. I'm coming to you. Please don't watch that show. Does it include DVDs though? I want to know. I just want to know. You should know what's in the hot dogs you eat. <laughs> Rotten ass sausage. You're going to pay me. Or <laughs> I can just take it. Damn, man. That was a powerful special, bro. Taking back, you know, what's yours? I mean, we've seen this. This is like a comedy version of uh, a Liam Neeson film. <laughs> I will find you and I will fuck you over financially. You cannot hide from me. Your coffers will be laid bare. <laughs> Taken. <laughs> Money version. <laughs> Taken. Financially. I'm going to stick with that. Taken. Financially. Anyways, um, comments below. You know, what did you think of it? Uh, what do you think of Dave's perspective? What do you think about, you know, his fight against Viacom and his likeness being used? And, you know, him signed a contract you know, as a 28-year-old. I mean, yeah, you know, 28, you say, ah, oh, we should have our shit together or whatever. But, you know, not many of us speak legalese. So, um, let me know below. What do you think? Anyways. Hey, hey, Viacom. Is it, you know, you own my, my likeness and all that shit. Go ahead and play your, my outro. 
life. Comment. Subscribe.